the adoption of electric vehicles has given us a glimpse into the future of mobility. But this doesn't come without challenges. 300 million EVs are expected to be on the world's roads by 2030. With the goal of achieving net zero by 2050. We're building the infrastructure for something we expect to exist in several years that isn't really at a big scale yet. We have got to become energy independent with clean energy. As the demand for readily available charging infrastructure grows, how can cities of tomorrow evolve to meet this need? Welcome to City Digital, presented by DigiKey, powered by analog devices and supply frame. In this episode, we explore the gap between the demand for electric vehicles and the availability of reliable charging solutions across the globe. Today in the US, there are roughly 130,000 public charging stations. But with EV sales up 65% in 2022 alone, the time has come for infrastructure to catch up. Vitaly Goldsberg, Director of the Sustainable Energy Business Unit at ADI, shares the role of energy conversion in today's charging designs. The grid itself is this enormous system that is going through a revolution, and not just evolution, right? It's been static for over 100 years since Edison days. In a new world where you have distributed generation and storage, the power goes in both directions. It's unpredictable when it happens. And by the way, the generations become less predictable because you have you know, solar and wind, and, and you can't predict the weather as well as you can when you turn on the boilers. The grid will notify the grid operator in terms of when and how much power they need to provide, or when is the best time to consume power from the grid. You are influencing the behavior when people consume and when people generate and provide energy back, and you're creating a more balanced uh, environment. You're not trying to generate for the absolute peak. You actually are generating as needed basis, and that's always going to be more efficient than over-generating. Innovation, I would say, is what drives this company. How the user, how the customer, and yet how your customer's customer would be using the solution and then translate that into the features, capabilities, and performance that we need to put into our products in order to enable that. We have the people that are super intelligent, innovative, creative, and can adapt these solutions from one space to another. People from communications world that are bringing ideas into mobility that are translated into energy. And that's kind of the core and the DNA of the company. And that's, that's really, really exciting part. This is the smart grid system. When a new outage happens, the self-healing component of the network starts opening and closing devices to isolate the number of customers without power. And hitting the road with an electric car can come with added challenges. The infrastructure is not quite up to where it needs to be. Without more chargers, electric car drivers could find themselves stranded on the road. There are plans to build a national network of charging stations in the infrastructure law signed last year. I see the panels powering the house, the house powering the car, and eventually the car powering the house. Josh Michalayo, the supplier business development manager at DigiKey, explains how suppliers are guiding automotive and smart city technology forward. So driver assists models that to this point are really focused on passengers in cab, communication between cars, usually by local radar, avoiding obstacles, that crashes, things like that. And that's really coming about with like 5G and cellular V2X or cellular vehicle to everything. Vehicles can interact more with the environment around them and there's a lot more technologies in play other than connectivity as sensors, processing, I mean, really everything you can put into the infrastructure. And as the vehicle itself becomes more of a safety platform for passengers, it's a lot more sensors, a lot more processing required and all that just means you need more bandwidth. Even though they're designing for an automobile, customers can really start with commercial off-the-shelf components. Those take less time to certify, then the customers can come in and just buy stuff off the shelf to start prototyping immediately. As that ecosystem really expands for customers that are looking to design for connectivity in the vehicles, DigiKey is really here to enable that next generation of design-ins. 
Working with suppliers like ADI, it's really critical for new product introduction, you know, get the latest technology in front of customers and really educating them on that technology. We really look at engineers needing to get into that technology as soon as possible because something in development today could be five, six years from now. As the number of electric vehicles on the road continues to grow, today's smart cities must maintain pace with demand by evolving their own energy grid and charging capabilities in tandem. This is a crucial partnership between technologies, one that will flourish in the boundaries of City Digital.